Queen's Gambit declined, Rag is in defense, 5.CXD5X56.BG5H67.BH4. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. bb4 develops the bishop and pins the c3 knight. This exchange is fair. Backs off. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. This gains tempo on a bishop while simultaneously developing a piece. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. That's good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. 
That is good. This misses a chance to win back a piece. It is incorrect. This avoids the knight's check. That's good. This removes a bishop that was threatening to win material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This leads to losing material. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. Backs off. It is quite good. Recaptures. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This prevents the adversary from building a passed pawn. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.